Good afternoon, Glenn Berry with Atma Environmental and welcome to another on-site installment. We're here today to talk about site remediation and in uh, this particular installment we're on a site in Donville which was a former plant nursery. That plant nursery use over the years has resulted in site contamination issues requiring cleanup, uh, specifically arsenic. So those surface soils have been uh, contaminated with arsenic and uh, the developer wishes to develop this uh, property into a new uh, estate. So uh, the issues are the arsenic contamination and minimizing the cost of cleanup for our, our client, the developer. How are we doing that? Well, with any remediation project, we need to look carefully at the total cost of getting cleanup. So in this case, how can we best manage the known site analytical data uh, to uh, get the remediation outcome that best suits the client and is the most cost-effective way to go forward. So we spent a lot of time crunching numbers and we're here today setting out the areas that actually need to be cleaned up with a laser level and putting pegs into the ground so we know exactly how much soil uh, is to come out and that soil will be the minimum amount necessary to achieve the outcome that we're looking for. Preparing lands for residential use requires attention to not just the chemical contamination on the land itself. There's a number of protected beneficial uses which we need to be aware of when getting a site ready for residential use. Of course, one of these things is rubbish. Solid inert waste can be left on the site following demolition of sheds and concrete pads and other things which are no longer needed on the site and have to be removed prior to development. So, one of the issues here on this site will be to make sure that any solid inert waste gets removed prior to the audit being signed off. Another issue uh, we need to take care of on this site is asbestos. We found some remnant uh, bonded asbestos cement sheeting left below fences in a few localized areas. We'll be removing that as part of the package of works that we're doing here for the environmental site remediation. A couple of points about effective site remediation. And the key points here is preparation. The preparation work is crucial to establishing how much soil that we have to take off, knowing exactly where it is, how deep to excavate. This is crucial because every one of these trucks rolling out of here over the next past days, a few days, is going to be loaded up with contaminated soil. And each truck is going to cost our client thousands of dollars to get rid of. So we've done all that preparation work before even putting a shovel in the ground here to ensure that our client is not going to pay any more than he needs to to have his site decontaminated while still reaching all the environmental objectives necessary to have this site signed off. Alright, back on site here. It's been a few days now uh, into the project. I'm uh, going to introduce you to Helena Willems who's uh, project managing uh, the field works uh, today. Helena, give us an update where we're at. Uh, well, yesterday and this morning we had a couple guys on site. They're taking the soil out. We're working within a GPS grid um, to remove soil that's been contaminated. Over here you can see we've removed about 0.2 meters and on this side over here about 0.5. So it depends on what depths we're going to. And we're being really careful to keep those levels just right so to minimize disposal costs for our client. Right, it's been a few days since we were last on site with the camera. In the period there, we've been uh, excavating all the polluted soil onto stockpile to get rid of that. Our next part of the job is to collect validation samples. Those are to determine the effectiveness of what we've done. So those samples be analyzed to make sure that the decontamination has been complete. And behind me, Barb is collecting some of those validation samples, which will be tested and put in our final report. Part and parcel with environmental remediation jobs is uh, an acknowledgement that there could be off-site environmental impacts. So we need to have an environmental management plan. In this case, one aspect is the creation of uh, siltation fencing to prevent off-site impacts to the adjacent creek line. All right, wrapping up our video now on environmental site remediation. We've got all the contaminated soil out of the site. It's on stockpile. It will be removed as a prescribed industrial waste. We have our validation samples which will be tested, uh, tabulated and uh, put into a comprehensive report for the environmental auditor to sign off on. Our developer friend who is the client on this site will have uh, the go ahead then to commence his uh, residential subdivision. So if you are a land developer, an investor, a builder, a government authority that has the need for an environmental consultant to perform services on a site, 
I invite you to call us. My name is Glenn Berry. I'm the Principal Environmental Consultant at Atma Environmental, and I'd be pleased to take your call personally.